Last time we reviewed the Chipix hauler that I bought at Walmart along with these other two haulers and I thought it was pretty good. But which do I review now? I mean, obviously, you know, you read the title of the video. It's Bobby Swift, we're saving Speedy to last. No, hopefully this won't be easier to open. The last one took me a solid 15 minutes to open because I suck. This one looks pretty good. Here's a Highland Bobby to compare with it. So let's open this one up. I actually like these, they're cool. I mean, for what it is, they put in screws in there to keep it locked in place. So I can actually read. Uh, yes, okay, I got it right. That's a nice design. And here's the Bobby Swift Holland. Did it actually have a name? No, it did not. I'm gonna start by comparing this with the Chicken Holler. And the trailer is the most important part, in my opinion. And they are the exact same. This side should open. Yep, it does open. Side. Hmm, it's a little bit clunkier than the chicken one. And this part should also pop out. I think this is how it goes. Pops out like this. It rolls down into the ramp. Those pop out. That part needs to go a little bit further. You know, I'm making it look so easy now. This took me like 15 minutes earlier to get it on the chip collar. And chip collar should uh, end up looking like that. And Bobby would just sit in there with some of his incorrectly painted purple tires instead of what should be silver. And then you could just close it up, yada yada. If you are curious, the other side come on, does also open. These are attached, I cannot bring them apart. The door does not open sadly due to the design of the sides here, being the opening obviously. Comparing it to the Octane King logos on Bobby, they are the exact same. Number 19, upgrade from this dude, Philly Oil Changer. The orange is still present. The logo is similar font, but is more custom to Bobby here. Actually, did, did you have a hauler? Maybe. I said the silver uh, tires that all of these have, they fit very well in this hauler as Bobby does have the silver tires. So, I it. Anyway. So it does match his paint scheme pretty much perfectly. The roof has the very nice decals that I had to fix due to uh, issues. And the antenna, same painted spring, I guess what that is, I don't know. There's the silver windshields that are separately fitted, always love that. Series of horn, I think that's supposed to be the horn, up there. It does have a nice, uh, <clears throat> does have a nice different mouth compared to the uh, nervous boy here. And yeah, yeah, this one does have a different grill. This is the Chick Hicks grill, I love that. There you go, it's enough for him. Feature the lights, and what is this license plate to? I cannot read that, I'll have to add that in editing, but I cannot read that. I could read this one. I could read this license plate, but not this one. Anyway. Oh, that's nice, of course, the specialized mud flaps. Does this one feature those? No, this one does not have custom mud flaps. Interesting. So it is missing a small bit of paint on the side here, you can see in the edge. This is also made a much more diecast than Mac back there. I say personally between the Chick Hicks holler and the Bobby Swift holler, I think I like the Chick one more just because green's more my favorite color. It didn't have the issue this one had. This one is just more nostalgic to Cars 1 than the Bobby Swift holler that we barely saw. I think we only saw the back of this one before it got replaced by the Suarez holler. If you like Bobby Swift, then I would recommend you pick this up. This is only available at Walmart and online. I bought mine for $18 plus tax. I think it's pretty worth it. This will sit well in the background of videos and in my Speedway of the South layout that I'm building. Thank you for watching. I'll see you with that one.